The Huskies coming away with their third home defeat of the season, falling to 8-3 on the 2022 campaign at Wade Stadium. A 4-1 final in favor of the visiting Waterloo Bucks, who win their first game across the four-game series now here in 2022. Journal alongside my broadcast partner, Kyle Morrison. I'm Wyatt Kopelman. So delighted to have you along all the way through the final nine innings here at Wade Stadium. Now, Kyle, the Huskies leading one to nothing off in an RBI base knock from Eduardo Rosario. An excellent start from Devin Dotson, but the Waterloo Bucks holding their best for not the last, but in the middle innings with that four run six frame. Yeah, the Bucks impressed throughout this entire series with the arms. I touched on it a couple times. They had the fourth worst ERA in the league coming into today's game. But throughout this series, they pitched really well. They only gave up six earned runs to a Duluth Huskies team that they've had some flashes with the bats before. They've looked really good with the bats before. I think what really came back to bite the Huskies in this series was not only the lack of opportunities they had, but their inability to come through with the opportunities that they did have. This is a team that came in today hitting 213 with runners in scoring position. They have a hard time really just cracking through that armor and coming in big in big spots. Really the only guy the entire series who was getting big hits until Jonathan Vastine came up with that double in the ninth that ultimately was a moot point because they lost 4-2, to two, was Eduardo Rosario. Eduardo Rosario was fantastic in this series. He had three RBIs throughout the entire series. Well, the Huskies falling 4-2, to two, Jonathan Vastine's RBI double, his first RBI base knock of the season, not enough to pull the Huskies ahead of the Bucks late in walk-off fashion. The Huskies losing 4-2. to two. To take a look at some of the highlights here from tonight, the Huskies falling 4-2, to two, Waterloo scoring two on a Huskies error. That one not only tying the ball game up, but giving the Bucks that 2-1 to one lead and then that misplay at home, really the costing the Huskies there. Yeah, that was really the disaster was the error. And then the home run just kind of piled on. The Liam Critchett home run, which was one of the most impressive shots I've seen at this ballpark since I've started broadcasting here. That was really the knife to the heart that made the score 4-1. to one. It was Critchett's first long ball of the season. Then moving a little bit later, a big punch out there from Devin Dotson. You had to love what he was throwing on the mound. Nonetheless, he was going to the fastball and whatnot. Yeah, Dotson looked great again today. I mean, he's only going to be given two earned runs during that start. And then, as we see here, Eduardo Rosario, who is really the only offensive weapon who is consistently coming through for the Huskies in this series, a big RBI double. So the Huskies looking towards excellent hitting from Eduardo Rosario. Moving into the top of the eighth inning, a grab down the right field line from Peyton Powell. What a grab that was. Yeah, Peyton Powell, who catcher, catchers his first position, he looked great on defense at first base all game long. And then, of course, we see another great play here by the Huskies, Jonathan Vastein, who really flashed the leather at second base today. Vastein coming through clutch with that grab on the right side, but then able to score Cam Frederick, the pinch hitter, and that was just not enough here today. Yeah, that was a tease. Jonathan Vastein there with an RB RBI double. At that point, we thought, wow, maybe the Huskies might actually pull this thing off and come back. But Christian Campbell ended up striking out to end the game. It was a good battle, but ultimately it was just not the Huskies' night. And Wyatt, it's tough to beat any team four times in a row. I talked about this during the broadcast. No matter what their records are, the Waterloo Bucks, they still have a lot of players with pride on their team, a lot of guys who are going to have very successful baseball careers. And so, you know, you win three out of four in this series. The Huskies got to shake it off and they got to get ready for the business. Mark Larks tomorrow. The Waterloo Bucks breaking a three-game losing streak now moved to 6-18 and 18 under interim field manager Ty Willis. The Huskies now, in the meantime, they will be facing another two-game homestand here against the Bismarck Larks starting tomorrow. Now, the Huskies looking to Devin Dotson for an excellent start. He was actually tagged with the loss. Trent Reddick coming up with his first save on the season. The Huskies still with a lot of work to do going into tomorrow, just putting up two runs after a dominant 9-1 victory a couple nights ago at Copeland Park, and then a 4-3 to victory yesterday here at the Wade. Yeah, and they're going to be in a similar situation tomorrow that they were here against Waterloo. The Bismarck Larks are a last-place team right now. They're a team that has mightily struggled so far this season to get anything going, but that does not mean that the Huskies can fall asleep. We saw they lost a game to the Waterloo Bucks today, so they're going to have to shake this one off. They're going to have to come out tomorrow, and if they can play the way that we know they can play, this is a 13 and 12 team, but it's a team that's looked a lot better than 13 and 12 and flashes during the season. If they can play the way they know can they can play, playing their best baseball, being aggressive on the base pass, getting a good start from their starting pitcher, they should be able to come out and take care of business tomorrow. 
Well, the Huskies coming back for this four-game homestand at Wade Stadium, looking to get at least three wins out of these four games before that two-day off period early next week. Meanwhile, the Waterloo Bucks looking for any ounce of momentum possible coming into today, nine games out of first place. Meanwhile, the Huskies looking for more tomorrow. The Huskies falling to the Waterloo Bucks 4-2, to two, squandering their only lead of the game at 1-0. Waterloo taking that 2-1 to run advantage, expanded upon from a 2-run blast from Liam Critchett, who is hitting just above 170, entering here tonight. A 4-2 to two final, Jonathan Vastine's RBI double, not enough to spark a late ninth inning rally from Duluth. One final time, the Huskies... Four, excuse me, the Waterloo Bucks for the Huskies too. For my broadcast partner Kyle Morrison, I'm Wyatt Copelman saying so long here from Wade Stadium as you've been watching this presentation of Huskies baseball on the Northwoods League Baseball Network.